so welcome on board again today my wonderful viewers so in continuation of our previous video where we talked about demonstrating the scratch pattern with keyboard just the way you do it on the controller as i've showed you in that first previous in that first part of this video so you can check that video out to see for yourself so we are going to be dealing with another aspect of it again though it's a continuation as i have said earlier that that first part i talked about dealing with that particular style with afro beats and possibly some local beats but today we are going to be dealing with some kind of mostly hip hop kind of beat and maybe from this particular point i will now see how we will now begin to go about creating mashups that means we just your keyboard you play around with the beat and build it to other aspects so without wasting much time let's go back to see the keyboard mapping i've showed you earlier where we have the h which is our hot cue that takes care of starting the song in this case it starts this and it maintains the volume at 100 percent at this point i map it in a way that this is also a hot cue that is the letter j it's also a hot cue together with k but the difference between this j and k is q point this one is q point one this one is q point two so that is the only difference but they all start it and ensure that the volume is 100 percent when the key is down then return the volume back to 0% as soon as you release the key from the keyboard so those are the functions of these two keys so we are always working around with these other keys these three keys together then this Z if you notice when I started I was using it together with this Z this Z is actually just a backspin backspin key so it's, I also explained how to backspin in one of my video so the video is also there you can check it out in the description box sorry in the, my video in my channel so I explained everything the videos is there how to backspin so the, the channel is actually rich so thank you for being there so let's see the mapping once again then we will now start to see how the mapping works along with this particular style of scratching so we we'll have it here we we'll have our h so this is the script for the letter h as i've explained the effect underscore active which means if you pick that this it picks an effect and make it active and what is that effect this is the effect this is backspin so that is for letter h this one takes care of turning off the backspin so whenever i press it but this keys this explanation is not too necessary i've said so much about it let me ignore it let's go to where it matters the most so these are also some other elements in the as i've explained this is the hot cue so this is it this is the actual command that does it this is a combination i commanded combine a lot of commands here this is a command that does that does the job for us this is it this very one the highlighted one here that is the default hot cue that means if you set the deck default to a hot cue point that means start the, the song at a particular hot cue point and if you observe the way what makes it possible for me to do uh, uh, yeah is i didn't put a particular hot cue on this particular point so it's just a random takes care of working along with any particular cue point that you set that's the difference so if i had put one at the front of this hot cue which automatically means you should always go back to hot cue one it would have insisted in always taking itself back to hot cue one but if i map but if i map my keys with a lot of hot cues here it means it will automatically work with any hot cue that i put whether this j is like this hot cue 10 hot cue 20 hot cue 30 hot cue whatsoever once I set it on the song, it automatically works with that hot cue. That is the beauty of this particular one. So that is why I didn't put it on a particular hot cue. So as I explained, this command, this is what it does. This is deck, which is the deck that it will select. That is the deck default. What is deck default? Let me close it so that you see what you are saying. If you look up here, this highlighted point, this automatically becomes our deck that is default. That means this deck is our default. That is deck B. If I press my tab, it switches it to the A. So this tab command takes care of flipping from one deck to another, just like the toggle button, toggle something on and off. So it flips from one deck to another. Then the deck that is playing automatically becomes deck active. That means a deck that is default. So the deck default, let me return it here. So in this case, this is deck A. It is now the deck that is active at the same time the deck that is default. So but if I take the highlight, the highlighted point away from it to this other deck, it means this deck deck a remains deck active but deck b at this point is just a default deck so that is how the command works so 
if you understand the concept of a tenor operator where you mix command and it queries the states and it flips back and forth that means for those that are into programming you see that you use this a lot for the question of uh, for the area of uh, running through operations that is querying and getting back using the if command to move around and get the kind of result you want so you do repetitive tasks so in this case is your job is to move from one deck to another that is this tab key so that is what you use it for then just as our command the h says so this with the hot queue so this is hot queue then when we come back to our g in this case this is it ignore this first part it's not too necessary this one is just to reset our key that means if you understand what keys means let's say a a a you are raising your voice this is what this key does so in this case this one ensures that we maintain a steady key no matter how i play around with the song so it's not too necessary but we'll get to that in maybe in the, my future videos so this is it. you can see it i have my hot q1 so in this case this is hot q1 so it starts at the beginning of that sound ah that is hot q1 then you have our up this and just the way you construct your normal english sentence you combine words and a and b a and b b and c so when you are attaching two command or more you use the and command to make a longer sentence that means attach a lot of command to the to give to the machine it's a simple simple that is generally being used so just the way you communicate with people in real life so you have your up this is querying the state of the machine that the state of your key that this particular key what is the state this is our letter g when it is up what should what should you do so it automatically execute this part of the command this highlighted part that you are seeing that is the deck that is default it will put the level at zero percent so when the key is up it will take it to zero percent so there is another aspect of this that does the down if i put this down now if you observe when we do scratches most of the time we use the down so this down if i should put down it means when our key is down it will execute this first command sorry this first command that is highlighted but in this case it's going to execute this command when our key is up that is when whenever i press this particular letter j you hear the voice but as soon as i lift my hand the voice stop you don't hear the voice again but the sound is playing at the background that's why you hear ah, 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 based on the number of based on how fast i press it so the hot cue does the magic of insisting that we get it to start at a very fast rate then as we are leaving the key the voice is getting away so that is what this highlighted part of this command the green part this the default level zero percent does then you have a column this column at this point is just like combining this a form of giving option to the machine to do the other task just like if i ask you okay have you watched this particular video you are watching now if it is yes then you have nothing to worry yourself about watching it then if you haven't watched it then you have to watch this particular video that is just a simple example let's assume this is you and i now ask you this highlighted by this part that comes with the question i ask you a question have you watched this video if it is yes it means you are going to skip this particular point this highlighted point then if you haven't watched this video then you are going to do this other one i don't know if there is any complication if you have any complication with the understanding of what i'm just saying now please you can put it at the description box or if i ask you have you eaten if it is yes if you have eaten from this question mark is a question that is why we have a question mark there if it is yes then please you can eat that is the highlighted point then anything after after this column then it does the opposite that means if the state is no that means if you haven't eaten then you can eat but if you have eaten then don't eat so that is what this command is doing so you can attach so many command to this particular point to this it cannot be only one command so that this column is a, a instruction breaker so it separates two instruction to be done at different states of the, of the key so when our key is now down this is the first command that is being executed not like in the case of where you have down here if you have down here it will execute the green one first and then execute the green one second but in this case we have up so since we have up it means when it is down it will execute the first command which is in green then go to the purple which is outside the column 
so that is what it does so i'm sure i've break it down now at this point my purpose of doing most of this video is to break it down to the lowest level for the common man to understand even if you don't have any knowledge of programming but it's good you have a little understanding of what i'm saying so no matter how complicated they design this machine they're actually using the basics of the english language that is what gives some of us who are in the english speaking countries the added advantage so for the french oh sorry i don't really mean that but i'm sure you can try to learn that and i'm sure you also have platform where they make the language simple for you guys too so and a host of other languages then we have your letter k which is virtually the same thing in this case the difference between this letter k and g if you observe they are almost the same thing the only difference is this argument in programming we call it argument which is a variable which is subject to changes what we mean by variable is you make a provision for a container where you can keep in different kind of things inside so you can keep information that are adjustable just like your if you are just the way if you are creating a database you are creating a register for people you make provision you don't just put one single name you make when you say name it means it gives room for everybody people in that category or people in that environment to put their names so the names can be names of anybody so you can replace anybody's name with anybody's name that is what this does so this one here is an, is an argument argument are uh, uh, containers that keep information that means they keep adjustable information for you but the case of this hot queue this hot queue is not an adjustable information it is embedded into the software so it's the starting of the command is the command that ensures that you start the song at a particular point so starting the song at a particular point though you will not see the details on this surface because in designing most of these softwares we have what you call abstraction so abstraction is the concept of hiding some key information it only this such information are kept only to the developers that means at the search engine that means at the engine where they build the machine so it's hidden it's not meant for the public consumption so it's not really of your concern this is your major concern which is the scripting aspect even though some sometimes assessing the scripting of this command is sometimes difficult but there is a way you can assess it on your computer just as when you go to the virtual dj uh, folder in your documents you have access to all this information they deliberately make it that way the, the concrete one that takes care of displaying some of the information you see on the screen are not meant, are not meant for your comprehension so they are hidden so that is what you call abstraction abstraction that means keeping things away that means they are kept in the imaginary state so you only imagine it but you can't see it with your physical how the machine does that does the processing so i'm sure i've dig that out too so let's go back sorry it appears i'm even teaching programming but don't worry i also have a lot of content in my video if you are coming across this channel for the first time or if you haven't really gone through it you will see that i have a couple of information here a few information here so you can see a lot of content in the channel we have the virtual dj tutorial the computer programming audio amplifier dj mixes and don't worry i haven't moved this one making of inverter and solar power system and host of other so if you haven't watched that you can also check that i'm sure you have something good to take back so round up so i've explained this in detail so we also have what else again is remaining okay later x a lot of people have asked me about this letter this is a complete command reverse while pressed so what this is saying is whenever we press this key it reverses the song when our key is down as soon as we leave it it stops so it's like you are attaching an adjective to a verb the act the real action is the reverse but how does it does the reverse most of the time it does it when your key is down so as soon as you leave it stop so this is an adjective that attach how you want just the way you tell somebody you run fast you run slow run one and don't do this don't do that just adverb that you attach to your mother so the same thing with backspin that's it and the host of other so the map will be available at the description of this video for you to give it a try so from the brief for the little we say today i'm sure you've learned something very great and i will continue to give you more so i'm sure 
especially for the producers those that will be more into production and maybe creating mashup the concept i'll be talking in my next video will be very very important for you i'm already giving you guys an intro on it so from this understanding of this key let's see what our key will give us so so this is the normal beat that is going on it's not familiar but i'm going to treat it in a way that it will look very familiar that like, everybody this beat looks like one popular song that i know which is a hip hop song just here. Beat is a very familiar one. Move your body like this, make one by 50 cent and it was top of that. So I'm sure the I, I just test around the brain and you can see how I just 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 two part of this beat and I'm playing around with it. So you learn it more that's by that's the, so that you can see how you can do some mashups and build around some other beats and then let's also have a test of the scratch so that you see where I'm talking about you hear that rah, 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 yeah. So let's see. So, the longer I keep my hand on this key, that is, the longer it allows the voice to stay up, and just watch, watch this volume level, volume uh, level leader, as I play around it, just, just watch, you see? Thank you very much for being there. I'm sure you learned something today again. So that's how I'll continue to be giving you the very best. And I'm sure you have every reason to say, wow, you are really getting something worth that is really worth it. So you can go to this particular there are some links on my description box where you can get some content. This particular link you will notice I've always placed it my description box so that you can get a couple of content for your use so this is it when you go down i'll be making more content available for you guys so there are dj mixes for you so you can download as much as you can dj samples dj drum samples even this one i'm using i'll be making it available it's also there so a host of content including some softwares i'm using the digital DJ software the local removal my mapping files and a host of others so as i'm making modification i'm going to be including it here too um, thank you very much welcome to 2023 and let's get it going to the 2024 year let's get it going man